family welcome back to letters anything goes hopefully you guys are having a great day usually i only do my words of the day monday through friday but you know missed it yesterday because it was a crazy day but anyway today's word of the day is benevolence which stands for the quality of being well-meaning kindness you know a lot of times we talk about making money moves we talk about um, different financial aspects career moves people can make and there's various different aspects of specific things However, we um, a lot of times, a lot you know, especially in today's world, we forget to be kind and decent to one another. Um, simple, hey, how you doing? Um, hold a door for somebody. Um, have a good day, good evening. You know, simple stuff like that. A lot of times we take that stuff for granted nowadays. And a lot of times people, you know, I was raised to be that way. And I think one thing I can respect about um, going deep down south, places like Southern Virginia, the Carolinas, Georgia, and Texas, um, those most parts of the South I've ever been to. Um, it seems like people just have a little bit more of a laid backness to them, a kindness to them. Um, you know, no matter what job, somebody could be a janitor from a landscaper to a construction worker. There's just a, there's this deep sense of um, wholesomeness to a lot of people there. And even if you go to other foreign countries, I've, I've been told by people who have immigrated to the United States, if you go to parts of Latin America, if you go to the Caribbean, if you go to um, Africa, um, even uh, certain parts of Asia, you know, people have some sort of a kindness to them and it's speaking to people and helping one another out. I mean, like if you have two pairs of shoes and uh, another person has, doesn't have any pair of shoes, it's normal to give that person a pair of your shoes. You know, I remember told that by one of my former professors um, who was, he was actually, actually a Princeton County police officer, real nice guy, and he was actually from Sierra Leone, which is in West Africa. Um, but anyways, um, so just being kind to one another and being sensible to one another, you know, it's a crazy thing that you have to talk about that. But in today's world, a lot of times people don't do much of that anymore. So I just think it's in everyone's best interest to do that. All right. Um, also, today's quote of the day is by Robert Schulzer, and he stated, uh, what you what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? I chose this one because a lot of times we stop doing things and we never attempt to do anything in life because we think we're going to fail at it, whether it's a relationship, whether it's um, creating a business, whether it's a career path, whether it's making a move, you know, to a new city, state or country. We don't we don't do stuff because there's something in the back of our mind that says we're going to fail. You know, you don't start working out. You don't start eating better. You know, there's just this stagnation and stalemate and I don't want to move forward because I'm in my comfort zone and I know I can't fail because I'm in my comfort zone. But a lot of times people don't execute in anything in life because they don't want to fail. Um, and at the end of the day, if people, if that was the really tr truth and I'm at the call, um, a bunch of nonsense on people, if that were really true that you could never fail at anything in life, then you know, then you would never known how to ride a bike write, read, um, walk, <laughs> use the toilet. I mean, I could go on and on and on about things in life that we have the opportunity to fail at, but we didn't fail. Learn how to use a fork and a knife, you know? I mean, we didn't come out of the womb learning how to eat with utensils. We didn't come out of the womb knowing how to drive a car. We didn't come out of the womb knowing how to operate a cell phone. Um, well, I think a lot of young kids are nowadays, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, you know, you didn't come out of the womb learn, learning how to operate a computer. You know, everything has to be learned. Now, how you learn it and at the time you learn it in life, it's a different story. But we all have a time in life where we have to learn something eventually, something new in order for us to progress forward. You know, progression is just it's a part of life, whether people want to believe it or not. It might be harder for others to progress in certain other areas, but progression is just a part of life. And failure is a part of life because, you know, you grow. I know me, I grow when I fail at something. I need, I make mistakes and then I learn from those mistakes and then I grow from there. You know, I think most people do, but a lot of people will not take a step forward because they're afraid to fail, because they're afraid they don't know. And it's cool not to know and it's cool not, and it's cool to fail. All right. Some of the greatest athletes and business people and professionals on this planet and people who, um, or people who just give, give back from a um, charity nature, um, but the people that just failed at doing certain things, but just kept getting up and doing it. They keep on and keep on and keep on. All right. So on that note, family, do the great three free things, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy the day. Um, where I'm at, it's very beautiful. So enjoy the day. Enjoy your life because you only get one. 
and enjoy the people that you cherish and the things that you cherish the most around you because you only get one of them as well. All right. Take care. Remember, make money moves. You will look broke like a fool. Take care.